Hey YouTube fam, I am back with a quick, quick recipe, or not really a recipe, but just a breakfast idea. So the other day I had cooked me some corned beef, and what I'm gonna do is use the leftover corned beef, here it is right here, and I'm gonna shred this up and make a delightful breakfast sandwich. I have all of my ingredients already chopped up. I got onions, green peppers, and mushrooms and of course here's the corned beef so really quick and simple uh, the first thing we are going to do is melt some butter melt some butter melt some butter 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 makes everything better all right so now we got our butter my favorite pan is already hot, so now what I'm gonna do is add on my veggies. Add on my onions, and peppers, and mushrooms. All right. And we just gonna give them a nice saute. Get them nice and al dente, if you will. Hope everyone is doing great. Thank you guys so much for clicking on and tuning in to see this quick breakfast idea. If you are not subscribed, please take the time and do so right now. And if you are subscribed, I appreciate it. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell, guys, so every time I upload, you will be notified. So I'm just going to get these veggies nice and whew, nice and tender. Not too mushy, but nice and tender. Let those cook up. And while that is cooking up, I'm going to get my eggs ready. Hope you guys can hear me okay. Sorry if you hear any background noise, guys. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. All the neighbors are out mowing their lawns. So you may hear a lawnmower or two. Okay, so I just cracked me a few eggs in a bowl right here. And let's get back over and check these veggies. Looking good, looking good. Looking good, good, good. All right. There's something about onions and peppers. It's just... This, it doesn't even have any seasoning on it, and the whole house is already smelling so good. Nothing like the smell of sauteed peppers and onions. So I think I'm going to make two sandwiches. So I cracked six eggs. So now I'm just adding some black pepper in my eggs. We don't need to add salt because corned beef is just already naturally salty. So I'm just gonna go with pepper. Gonna go with pepper and I wanted 
to sprinkle in some parsley, parsley flakes, but it seems like they're hiding from me right now. So we may not use any parsley, because I don't know where my parsley is. I can find it. It is hiding within the mess. Okay. So I'm just gonna whip my eggs. Whip, 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 whip. Now what you wanna do, my veggies is looking nice. This is exactly where I want them. Well, I'll probably let them go. Give me a minute some more. Meantime, let me do this. It is time to add in your corned beef. And I'm just shredding this apart with my fingers, just like this. It does not have to be perfect. Shred you in some of that. And the corned beef was just cooked regular in my slow cooker. Um, of course, I added the spice packet that came with it, and I think I added some garlic powder and some black pepper and some rosemary. And I'll insert a uh, clip of it in the crock pot. Okay, so I think that should be enough. Let's see. This smells good in the kitchen. Good in the kitchen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hope you guys got a good view. Okay, so I'm gonna let this saute up just a little while longer. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. So I did taste my um, little mixture here, my meat and my veggies. And I do want to add a little bit more seasoning, but what I'm not going to add is salt still. So I'm going to go in with one of my favorite seasonings, which is the um, Kingsford uh, Original No Salt All Purpose. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of that. And I'm going to give it a nice toss. Now what I'm going to do is add my eggs. I'm going to spread this out. Like that. Move this out the way. Now, I'm going to come in with my eggs, and I'm just going to pour my eggs right over everything, everything, everything. Now, what I want to do is scramble this all together. If you got some leftover corned beef brisket, I'm telling you, this is the wave. This is the wave. Now. This is my favorite pan. So now I'm just gonna pile this like that and I'm gonna let that just cook a little bit. Make sure that egg nice and done. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Meantime, while that's doing that, I'm going to add a little bit of butter up here to the back of my pan. Got some butter. 
And what I'm using for this sandwich is a everything bagel. A everything bagel is gonna complement this sandwich awesomely. So let's get that all toasted up. Get that nice and toasty, because it's almost time to build this sandwich. Let's see what it's doing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. And it goes a long way. This could this is easy for sandwiches. Quick breakfast for your family. Let that get a little bit more hardened. Because I really don't like runny eggs. I like my eggs fried hard. I can't do no runny eggs, y'all. I'm sorry. I can't, y'all. I'm sorry. Let's check our buns on the back. Okay. All right. Let them get a little bit toasty. Put a little bit more butter on the back of that bun. Mm -hmm. A little bit more butter down. Yup. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. That's what we want. Let's give it a taste to make sure it is nice and flavorful. Woo! Hot, hot, hot. Woo! Give it a little taste. Woo! Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Oh, that's good. Oh, that corn beef. Now what I'm going to do, since we're at the end, I'm going to add my nice, beautiful diced tomatoes. And I'm just going to incorporate those right up in the mixture. And the tomatoes just is going to give it a nice, fresh element. Mm-hmm. Nice fresh taste. Let's check our buns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, looking good. I'm gonna toast it back a little bit. This is perfect. Because I definitely don't want to put these tomatoes down at all. I just wanted them to get warmed up a little bit, but that's perfect. So now what I'm going to do is start to build my sandwich, guys, and I will be back. And here you have it, guys. The finished product. And what you want to do is top your bun. Here's our nice top toasty bun. And you want to spread you some cream cheese all on top of that bun. Spread you some cream cheese on it and top it right off. Delicious. I'm going to coat my other one. Do -do 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 -do. Mm -hmm. Listen, honey, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. It's a must try. It is a definite must try. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to thumbs it up. And as always, guys, I thank you guys so much for watching. Everybody have a blessed day.